Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. I'm James Spann. It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 22nd of January. Cold again tonight. We'll be in the 20s tomorrow morning. Then uh, a little rain at times before the week is over and uh, uh, maybe a snowflake or maybe some freezing rain issues for extreme North Alabama before the week is over. Not totally sure about that. Some interesting model data coming in this morning. Let's get in there and take a look. We'll talk about it. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. Just a beautiful day. That's coming from Gadsden. Looks kind of deceiving. It's cold despite that sun. There's our Clanton Sky Cam, a cloudless sky in Chilton County, and the same sky up in northwest Alabama's Fayette County. Here's the big upper trough over the east. It's cold with that feature. Uh, temperatures uh, way below average. Look at the 30s up in the Tennessee Valley despite the sun. Uh, 37 for Decatur. Down this way, 40s. Uh, Birmingham at 45. About 10 degrees below average. We should be in the middle 50s, and to find that, you have to go down to Montgomery. And around the nation, ouch, it's still brutally cold up north. You know, a lot of schools are closed in parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan because it's just so cold. And uh, again, thankfully, we're just kind of catching the edge of that air mass. Uh, still some uh, lake effect snow issues up north. In fact, isn't that gorgeous? I'd love that satellite shot. You can see those fingers of really heavy snow coming down over much of lower Michigan over into uh, Cleveland and Erie and Buffalo and places like that. They're getting slammed with lake effect snow. Classic case there. This is the precipitation over the next five days. Valid through the weekend. Valid through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. This is showing rain amounts of about one-half inch. And we figure amounts maybe a quarter to one-half inch around here. But let's get in there and, oh, well, let me show you this just to get you excited for the winter weather fans. This is the snow percentages. Now, this is the chance of greater than one inch of snow Valid from Thursday evening at 6 o'clock to Friday evening at 6 o'clock. And look at that northeast corner of Alabama uh, with a 20 to 30 percent chance of greater than one inch of snow. But obviously the big numbers are north and east of here. And uh, we'll take a look at all of this as we progress along here. Uh, this is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. And we have a northwest flow aloft, and down below that, the day should be dry. But clouds will probably increase during the day. We'll start the day in the upper 20s. We should wind up with a high around 50. We have seen a little evidence that there might even be a few sprinkles tomorrow evening with a, another surface boundary coming in here from the north. But uh, for now, we'll leave that out. Now, this is Thursday. We've got kind of a surface boundary draped across the area. Uh, and again, this is suggesting on Thursday we might consider the chance of a little patchy light rain. And, uh, you know, guidance like that would suggest just some rain. Uh, and again, not much. This is obviously not a lot, but I think we need to insert that in the forecast. And uh, temperatures uh, could be kind of challenging uh, with, with the new front coming in. We could be in the 40s on Thursday. And we'll kind of lean that way in the forecast. The, the GFS is printing a high of 50. So Thursday, kind of a cloudy, cool day with some chance of light rain or a drizzle in spots. All right, now this is Friday. And again, you can see the bulk of the energy north of us. But here comes this next uh, system that will likely produce some rain uh, during the day Friday. Uh, this is showing the rain moving in here uh, maybe Friday morning now. So periods of rain would be likely Friday. And the question is, can, can something change on the backside of this thing uh, uh, Friday night? Uh, let's get in there and take a look at this. In fact, really, see, Friday night, Friday morning, uh, this is uh, valid at, uh, let's see, 1330Z. That's 730 Central Time Friday morning. Look at the RPM showing freezing rain potential for parts of north and east Alabama. Uh, and is it possible? It is. Uh, shallow cold air can be very tricky, and the RPM has a much higher grid resolution than the global models. And it's really better equipped to handle this. And, and so the, the RPM here is telling us that there could be a shallow layer of cold air at the surface Friday morning. And there might be a brief period of freezing rain. Now, most of the global models don't support this. We're just throwing it out there. Uh, here's a look at the projected temperatures Friday morning. 
And uh, notice a little bit of a wedge type effect coming in from the uh, north and east, which is another factor. That's cold air that drains down the backbone of the Appalachian. So with this Friday rain event, question number one, could there be maybe a few freezing rain problems with this at the onset of the rain? And then it just changes to rain. And then uh, the other issue is the potential for maybe a changeover to light snow Friday night on the back side of this thing. And this is the snow depth coming off the GFS, and it tries to put down a little bit of light accumulating snow over extreme northeast Alabama and across much of north Georgia as far south as Atlanta Friday night. And again, I, there is high uncertainty here, uh, unlike the upper low. You know, last week's cold core, we knew that it was going to snow. We just didn't know who was going to get the heavy snow. And there were some questions involving, you know, amounts and exact placement of the bigger numbers. But uh, there's a lot more uncertainty involved here. But just to let you know, there's uh, uh, we're starting to see some signs here. Maybe maybe a brief period of freezing rain for northeast Alabama Friday morning and maybe a brief period of snow after the rain Friday night. All right, Saturday, the, the really big trough is way north of here, and, and everything's gone, and Saturday would be a, a dry day if this is right, and we think it will be. Uh, the coldest air stays north. We should start the day below freezing. Uh, the high should be around 50 if this, this is right. And then on Sunday, we warm up nicely. In fact, this is uh, showing a high of close to 60 on Sunday. Uh, we'll go to next week. This is Monday. We stay dry. We'll go to Tuesday of next week. And again, this is going to be a tricky forecast for next week. We have this big upper trough back in the southwest, and those things are very difficult to, to deal with when it comes to timing and how they lift out and in what form they lift out. At the surface on Tuesday, the Gulf is open. We have moisture increasing. There could be a few showers. This is Wednesday, and this is our big rain day, if this is right. This is Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock local time, uh, suggesting a, a good rain event, if this is right, maybe some thunder. Uh, and then on uh, Thursday, the 31st, this is uh, showing colder air. And look at this now. This is this is uh, early Thursday morning. Uh, actually, some risk of maybe a, a little snow changeover on the backside of this, and then we go dry. So, again, we, we can't resolve that this far in advance. Just uh, looks like midweek rain, much colder. Is there a change to snow? We'll deal with that later. Quickly, the end of the forecast on the 7th of February. Uh, Again, that's not a cold look for us. In fact, there's a little surface low with some chance of showers with temperatures about average, if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.